Good evening. I'm Marisol Halili. This is One News Now. The Tourism Department confirms that Ilocos Sur will open to guests from Luzon as early as November 15. However, the DOT noted in a statement that it will only push through once all systems and health measures are in place. The agency said it welcomes the news, which came from Ilocos Sur Governor Ryan Singson, citing growing interests from NCR tourists. A lawyer's group slams MMDA spokesperson Celine Pialago for her remarks against detained activist Reina May Nasino. Edre Olalia, president of the National Union of People's Lawyers, said they will give Pialago the same assistance should she find herself in the situation. In a Facebook post, the MMDA spokesperson said sympathizers are just making Nasino's grieving too much of a drama serie in the afternoon. And in the PBA, today's doubleheader event is off to an exciting start. For the details, Lena Lavaria is reporting to us live from Andaluyong City. Lean, what's the latest? Marisol, the rain or shine allows the painters continue their stellar start to remain undefeated in the games after taking down Northport Batong Pierre in the first game of today's event, 70-68. It was a close game until the end as Northport rallied back to tie the game thanks to a Christian stand hoarding her jumper in the last three seconds to tie at 68 apiece. However, in the dying seconds of the game, Reina Batak was fouled driving to the basket and calmly, ma calmly made two free throws. Reina Shine moved to 3-0, and tying TNT for the top spot in the standings while Northport remains without a win. Meanwhile, in tonight's second game, Barangay Hinebra and Meraco face each other in you for the first time since their Governor's Cup title showdown. The Gin Kings are looking to keep their record spotless as they started the conference with back-to-back -back wins over Anlex and Blackwater. While the Bolts with a 1-1 card look to draw confidence from their defensive identity that they displayed in their first win over Alaska. Meanwhile, injuries have started to hound several players just a week into the PBA restart over in Clark Pampanga. Among them are Jericho Cruz of NLUX, TNT's Kib Montalbo, and Alaska's Kevin Rakal, who suffered a complete ACL tear of his right knee, rendering him out for the PBA bubble. Terrence Romeo also had to step out of the bubble yesterday after dislocating his shoulder due to a collision with TNT guard Ryan Reyes on Friday night. While Roger Pugoy suffered an ankle sprain in the same game following two awkward landings after taking a jump shot. Marisol, we checked up on Roger earlier, and he said that he's now trying to strengthen his injured foot. As to whether he will be able to play in the game tomorrow between TNT and Phoenix Super LPG, he said he will assess his ability during the warm-up. Marisol. Thank you for that live report, Lino Lavario. Our favorite basketball league has returned. Catch the PBA Bubble Games live on CB5 every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and on One Sports and PBA Rush daily. Games are also seen live via Facebook and YouTube live stream, Radio Cinco and Signal Play. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com and stream One News live anytime, anywhere. I'm Marisol Halili. We are One News.